FDNY Firefighter Examination Practice Questions Tutorial This tutorial gives you an overview of what is included in the new FDNY Firefighter Examination. It shows you the kinds of questions you will see in the new exam. It also introduces you to something called the Training Guide, which is a booklet you will work with while taking the exam. Exam Overview The new firefighter exam includes five portions. You will have up to four hours to complete it. Three of the portions require you to watch a video and then answer exam questions about what you learned in the video. The information in the videos is not real. It was created for the exam. Also, some of the words in the videos are not real. They were created specifically for the exam. The fourth portion requires you to read information on the computer screen and then answer exam questions about what you read. The fifth portion is a background information survey where you will answer questions to describe your experiences and work preferences. Note that random guessing is discouraged when you are taking the exam because you may lose points on some questions for choosing incorrect answers. The Training Guide When you take the exam, you will be given a booklet called The Training Guide. It includes written materials, pictures, charts, and diagrams you will use during the exam. You can use the guide to do several things. You will be able to review it before you watch each of the exam videos. You can use the guide to take notes while you watch the videos. That way, you can refer to your notes as you answer the exam questions. And, the guide includes information that will help you find the correct answer for some exam questions. An example training guide is referenced during this tutorial. The actual training guide is only available once you attend the exam session. It is not available before you attend the exam. Training Lesson Example Next, you will see an example of what a page in the training guide looks like. Following your review of the training guide example, you will see a video like those you will see in the actual exam. After the video, you will get some tips about how you might want to take notes. Then you will see how to answer the kinds of questions that are in the exam. Make sure that you have some scratch paper available to take notes. Note that during the actual exam, the training guide will give you an overview of what is covered in each video before you watch it. You should also know that during the actual exam, you will be able to watch each video up to three times if you wish before you begin answering the exam questions. Training Guide Example the example on this screen shows what a page in the training guide looks like. The example shows information related to the video that you are about to watch. We will pause for 60 seconds to give you some time to review the information on this screen. Now we will start the video, which shows an instructor speaking to a student. As you watch the video, take notes on some scratch paper to get a feel for how it works. Welcome. 
For those new students who are here today, I am Instructor Ramirez. Now, as you know, you may sometimes come into contact with dangerous chemicals on the job. This lesson is about one type of dangerous chemical called myonide. Now, I'm going to tell you about the properties of myonide and how to detect it. I will also go over communication procedures when you detect myonide on the job. Myonide may be found in buildings constructed between 1950 and 1975. Now this chemical is produced by the combination of two building materials that were commonly used during that time period. In this lesson, we will review these materials, how they were used in building construction, and how they can interact to create myonide. There are three major health risks from exposure to myonide. The first is damage to the lungs and breathing system. The second is eye irritation, which can cause blurred vision. And the third is irritation and burning of the skin if there is direct contact. While it is typical to recover from the skin injuries, the breathing and vision damage can be permanent. Taking notes. Here is another look at the training guide example. The example shows, in blue, how a person might take notes on the guide while they watch the video. Review the notes on the example. See whether any notes you took match those on the example. We will pause for 30 seconds to give you some time. Next, we will look at the types of questions you will see on the actual exam. Example question 1. Some of the exam questions require you to click on one or more pictures to give your answer. This is an example. Remember, it might take choosing more than one answer in order to get full credit on the question. Here the question asks, what areas of the body are subject to permanent damage caused by the dangerous chemical discussed in this lesson? Click one or more. Example question one. Answer. You can see the correct answer on the right side of the screen. Recall that in the video, the instructor described three major health risks breathing problems, blurred vision, and burning of the skin if a person has direct contact with myonide. Also recall that the instructor said it's typical to recover from the skin injuries, but the breathing and vision damage can be permanent. So eyes and lungs are the correct answers. You would need to select both answers in order to get full credit on this question. Example question 2. Some questions will require you to click on a box next to one or more statements to give your answer. This is an example. Again, note that it might take more than one choice to get full credit for your answer. The question asks, Which of the following is true about the dangerous chemical discussed in the lesson? Click one or more. You might want to check to see if you took any notes about this as you watch the video. Example question 2. Answer. You can see the correct answer on the right side of the screen where the two boxes are checked. 
The correct choices are that it may be found in buildings constructed between 1950 and 1975, and it can cause eye irritation. Both answers were mentioned by the instructor during the video lecture. Did you take notes about this? Example question 3. Here is a third kind of question you will find on the exam. Some questions will be spoken by the narrator and you will hear them over your headphones. Here is an example. Listen and then choose the correct answer. What is the name of the dangerous chemical that is the subject of this lesson? Please click one answer. Example question 3. Answer. See the correct answer on the right side of the screen. Notice that myonide is the correct choice. The circle is filled in next to myonide, indicating that answer was picked. Recall that in the training lesson example video, the instructor lectured about a dangerous chemical called myonide. Example question 4. Some of the exam questions require you to read written material and then choose the best answer to a question about what you have read. Here is an example. We are going to pause for 60 seconds so you can read the passage on the right side of the screen. Now, let's review the question shown on the left side of the screen. Here you are to choose the answer that would correctly complete the sentence. According to the operations manual, the purpose of the form F-322 is to record. Click 1. During the exam, you can check the passage on the right side of the screen to make sure you choose the best answer. Take a moment. Read the question again. Check the passage and choose the best answer. Example question 4. Answer. You can see the correct answer on the right side of the screen. Notice that unsafe conditions is the correct choice. The circle is filled in next to unsafe conditions, indicating that answer was picked. Recall that in the first sentence of section 1.2 of the operations manual, the passage noted, A safety report form F-322 must be completed to document any unsafe conditions that are discovered at the work site. Example question 5. Some of the questions on the exam will require you to arrange information in the correct order by dragging boxes from one column to another on the computer screen. This is an example of that type of question. Note that the passage on the right is the same as the passage in the previous example question. The audio will pause for one minute so that you can read the passage again.
Now, let's review the question shown on the left side of the screen. In what order should the following steps be completed prior to entering a building worksite for the first time? Arrange the steps in the correct order by dragging them to the box on the left. Example question 5. Answer. You can see the correct answer on the right side of the screen. Notice that the correct order of steps is 1. Tell the team leader you are entering the building. 2. Identify emergency exits. And 3. Visually inspect walls for signs of chemical leaks. Recall that Section 1.1 of the Operations Manual noted four steps that must be performed in a specific order. The order of the steps shown on the right reflects the order of the steps as presented in the Operations Manual. Example Question 6 Finally, some of the questions on the exam will require you to work with numbers, do some basic arithmetic, and then fill in an answer. Here is an example. This is the same passage used in the previous two examples. The audio will pause for 60 seconds so that you can take one more look. Now here is the question. A residential building worksite has four floor levels. The first floor is occupied by 25 people. The second floor is occupied by 13 people. The third floor is occupied by 19 people. And the fourth floor is occupied by 16 people. On the four floors, there are a total of 52 occupants that are age 16 or older. What number of occupants should be reported on Form F-322? Enter number of occupants. Example question 6. Answer. You can see the correct answer is 21 on the right side of the screen. According to the passage you read, the total number of people on all floors was 73. 52 of the 73 were age 16 or older. So, if you subtract 52 from 73, that means 21 were under the age of 16. Recall that the passage noted that the number of occupants that are under age 16 must be included on Form F-322, so 21 is the correct answer. Important Notes About Testing Time Lastly, here are some important notes about the time you will have to complete the firefighter exam. There will be a time limit on each of the five portions of the new firefighter exam. For each portion, you will be given time to listen to instructions and, where applicable, review the training guide and a training lesson video. A timer will appear at the top of the computer screen indicating how much time is remaining. If you finish reviewing the training guide and video before the time ends, you can start the test portion by clicking on the Next button.
more about testing time. If you have not started the test questions before the review time ends, a computer screen will appear telling you to click the Continue button to proceed to the test questions. An example of the computer screen is now shown. The test questions will automatically start in 30 seconds if you do not click the Continue button. Then there will be a separate time limit to answer the test questions. End of practice questions. This concludes the practice questions tutorial. If you would like to review this tutorial again, please restart the video on your computer.